Okay, here we go. Senior Rust Dev. Well, as Harrison Ford once said, if we would have asked the people what they wanted, they would have asked for a faster C++. What made me learn? I cannot believe how good that joke was right, right out of the gates. That might have been the funniest joke I have heard in an exceptionally long time. This man's a comedic genius. Damn, Harrison Ford even getting in on this. Rust, I wanted to write uh, an operating system in three weeks. I first wanted to write my own systems programming language, but I thought that's too complicated for people. And <laughs> then I discovered Rust, and now I just don't mind that it's too complicated for people. People say... <laughs> This is actually really good. Choose the right tool for the job. In the Rust community, we say, choose the right job for the tool. I'm a regular contributor to 14 projects. I actually got the original. When I see a C++ dev, what I see is a future Rust dev. Macro, yep. expansion, bounded polymorphism, WebAssembly, the problem with mediocrity. <laughs> I let my threads panic for pleasure. Those of you coming- <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. Why are you letting your threads panic for pleasure? From functional programming languages will be pleased. Those of you coming from OOP languages will also be pleased. In interpreted <laughs> languages, you need a lot of imagination. My metric of self-worth is bound to prevented CVEs and pruning awards. Did you know that according to Microsoft, 70% of all CVEs are due to memory leakage. In C++, you need to worry about memory because of memory errors. In Java, you need to worry about memory because of the garbage collector. In Rust, you don't need to worry about memory because you need to worry about borrowing, which is a new concept that in Haskell, everything is just cloned. I mean, what? Do we have infinite resources? In Java... <laughs> this is actually a really funny point because you can still memory leak in Rust, right? It's still, it's still possible to do a lot of the... You know, you can still shoot yourself in the foot but it's very, very funny that it's just like, yeah, we don't worry about memory anymore. We worry about borrowing. It's a new concept. Don't worry. Don't worry about memory anymore. Script, you need to worry about memory because you need to worry about JavaScript. In C, <laughs> macros were a pain. We solved that in Rust. Now nested macros are a pain. I mean, there is no such thing as a perfect programming language. Rust is merely a statically typed, low-level, multi-paradigm, perfect programming language. For the <laughs> There's no such thing as a perfect programming language. The man clearly hasn't seen Dreambird. We all know Dreambird is the perfect programming language. Okay, it is It is the perfect programming language. Fiasco with Tokyo memory safety with locking is, you know those algo coding tools where you learn the language through play and games? So here we actually teach to learn Rust through games. Although you're not going to play very much if you don't have strong fundamentals in Rust. And which part did you write in Rust? The front end or the back end? No, the browser. Not everyone <laughs> learns Rust in a lifetime. I actually wrote a custom new version of the Rust compiler. It's a little stricter with error handling. Essentially, you're being tasered when you make an error. How else are you going to learn low-level programming? I'm currently rewriting... <laughs> that actually is effectively... If you watch Michael Reeves, he made a video about being shot by an airsoft gun every time he took damage in Fortnite. This is effectively... that. That is literally effectively a Michael Reeves video the color blue to Rust. The main problem Rust has and solves by itself is the borrow checker references to an object. But if you paralyze, you need to paralyze manually. And that means, well, in other languages, you don't even have parallelization, so. Rust is so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't even have it, it's not even a thing. Aliasing tracking found LLVM's own bug. The disadvantages? Rust thinks you can't keep object lifetimes in your head. And there is no reward when dealing with large library dependency graphs. Is Rust good for game development? Rust is good for everything. There are currently five games written in Rust and 50 game engines. Race conditions are fundamentally... You know, 2024 is the year of Rust. I can feel it. I can feel it. The year of Rust is 2024, and, you know, they're going to be prepared because we're going to get dozens of games for those 50 game engines. Unsolvable. You can't fix what's broken on the OS level unless you're using an OS written in Rust, of course. Again, I'm not here to tell you that Rust is the best language. 
you should have figured by now. The best JS bundler is written in Rust. TurboPack, 20 times faster than any bundler written in JS. That's some undercover marketing right there. You can't trust humans, but you can always trust the code, uh, the compiler. Another superpower of Rust, testing in Rust is cheaper because we're all geniuses. In Rust, you need to see the compiler as your friend that helps you with your stupidity. Map error exists, but its method trade balance were not satisfied. Link oh, I love that he said that. Oh my goodness, that is my most hated error of all of them are those damn missing trait errors, especially when the compiler's just like... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. You, this, it's, it's not there. You need to do something different. Whatever you're doing, it needs to be different than what you're currently doing. Oh, man. Or when you know that a method does exist, you just don't know the name of the method... So therefore, you can't even get the compiler to be like, by the way, you should import this library, right? You're, uh, dude, every single time, it, it's always the same thing. It always comes down to using a WebSocket with Tokyo Tungstenite or something like that. And then it's like, is it read, is it next, or is it receive, right? I don't know which one it is, and I have to do this thing where I like play it, it errors, does it air, but with also like a, hey, you actually need this thing. And, you know, do I have the rights? You know, like it's every single time. List. Rust requires Preludes. unlearning many horrible programming patterns from other horrible languages. Rust will finally unite C and C++ and coders from all other programming languages. <laughs> I actually have a macro for the unsafe command. It's called trust me. Welcome to memory <laughs> management in Rust. We compiled the entire company at runtime. But of course, the normal normie kernel dev will come across more difficult challenges. So this is a the normie kernel dev. <laughs> Welcome to Rust memory management. Just holds up a box, just a list of boxes. Oh my goodness. Concept that you haven't heard before us. In fact, actually no one has. We have crates, traits, lifetimes, no states. Is this a joke? Yeah, so these are called traits. So it's like interfaces to Java. No. Yeah, we, we don't mention Java in here. Uh, Rust is, imagine you would throw all advantages from all languages <laughs> together. Now your code is unreadable, but it's memory safe. Option, not maybe in Rust. This isn't Haskell, but it could be with a few tweaks. Memory leakage is considered safe. Not calling destructors is considered safe because memory leakage is considered safe. Even if it leaks, it never gets referenced again. So there's not gonna be any crash. The program does crash, but if the memory fills up, you can catch that in some cases. Well, memforget was introduced to tell the compiler Anyways, uh, in Rust, all libraries are archived. This isn't JavaScript, but we have left pad incidents. Breaking changes are only introduced in Rust editions. We have Rust 2015, 2018, 2021 edition. And this is actually Rust 2023 signature edition. It's actually signed by Graydon himself. Well, the fiasco with Tokyo is, well, so a join handle from a task you spawn can get out of scope. Now, there are two schools of thought. Some think the task should be aborted. The others don't really think at all. I will say it. Rust is... Yes! Yes! That was so good! Right there, that was so good. Oh my goodness. Yes, I was holding my breath, okay? The joke just kept going, and I kept loving the joke. I do agree. When you lose reference to the handle, there is only one. In all things, top of the hill. King of the cast, head of the competition. For all things C or ASM, Rust is good. Yeah, for functional programming, it's Haskell and Rust. Rust is king of the cast. Yeah, they don't want unsafe in my trade. You just stuff it all into macros. The C++ code is bigger, but not as organized as ours. In Rust development, a lot changes. Usually when you find a bug, you fix it. When Rust users find a bug, they complain about it and GitHub issues for two years before the project <laughs> owner steps down. WebAssembly. What was the question? I believe that was an Actix reference. That was that was really great. That was beautiful. Mm. In other programming languages, the documentation ends with a cookie clicker. In Rust, it ends with a multi-threaded, high-performing, fully functional web server. Yeah, there are a lot of jobs for Rust. Most are for startups that do some blockchain stuff and then go bankrupt in a year. I joined a couple of startups like that in the past months. All those <laughs> startups wanting to become unicorns. I'm not crazy about that. We got this as new merch from our company. <laughs> Mono <laughs> Repo and unicorn. Rust and bindings to all other languages. <laughs> That's the future of programming. Hugo, Zula, Node, Dino, Wireshark, SniffNet, Bitcoin, Solana, Go, GoScript, GNU, Haskell, 
Okay, you can use Haskell. I mean, I would like to publish my DLL. <laughs> I do love that the Haskell crossover with the Rust folks are just is, is very high. It's like the one you you hear this all the time where it's just like they just shit on everything, but until Haskell hits, then they're like, well, I mean, I mean, yeah, I I, I get why you'd want to use Haskell. You know, I, I totally get that. DNA is a crate, but crates I always a ten megabyte limit. Oh, I use Ice. So Ice is the best one. It's the most complete one. It is very easy to rewrite everything in Rust because you get karma points on Reddit. By the way, this code actually also runs it's in true. mobile in a wrapper that I wrote in Rust. Yeah, Rust is an interesting mix of C++, OCaml, Haskell, Dota, JavaScript. JavaScript. Do Dota? You, got, you can't be upset about JavaScript when you got Dota floating around in the background. Dota. <laughs> Dude has pretty eyes, not gonna lie. <laughs> I meant Lisp, Lisp. Oh, is it, the, is it the timer for the coffee? No, I just finished compiling. Map error exists, but it's method <laughs> trade <laughs> Rust allowed. Yes! 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 Oh my goodness! Oh, the genius! The same error twice, and it just was compiling for the last five minutes. For hybrid approaches, allowing for productive kernel incrementalism instead of whole project rewrite. We'll still do the whole project rewrite. I'm actually rewriting Windows to Rust. This will give it some credit. There will never be a Rust version 2.0 because the language is perfect. Technically it means because the syntax is adaptable, but the other phrase sounds better. Took 15 years for case statements to arrive in Python. Think about it. You don't adapt the program to the language in Rust. You adapt the language to the program. We decided to introduce what? the yeet keyword after a well-managed, well-mannered discussion, which will make every Everyone equally unhappy. Rust is very simple. <laughs> it does make everyone unhappy. <laughs> Just that that little tiny nuance of having to like return error wrapping the thing you know like there's just this like there's this thing that has to happen that's just so annoying to learn. I'm actually writing an introduction to the language right now. It is mainly aimed at readers already familiar with Haskell or OCaml. Yeah, but nobody knows Haskell. We're all looking to learn Rust. Come back after you learn Haskell, normie. We didn't say it's a programming language for everybody, just for the elite. But everyone is welcome. That is ready to join the cult. Community. C community. Reliability. <laughs> speed. Productivity. Pick four. Why Rust? It has three main benefits. <laughs> Rust versus Java? Well, that's an easy one. Pokemon Go? We have Pokemon Rust. Yes, we did. And you don't even catch Pokemon. <laughs> Just random runtime exceptions. We really hate repetitions in Rust. Into, 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 inner, unwrap, unwrap, unwrap. We don't like unreadable code in Rust. Option, RC, ref cell. There are different types of macros. I don't need to go over them, right? So let's... <laughs> no! No! Into, we hate, we hate that. Into, 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 into. Let's learn another meta programming language called pattern matching. I love pattern matching. Is that matching. your repo? Let's start by setting up cargo. Everyone cares about random tools written in Rust. Everybody cares. Look at all the startups hiring. Although it's mostly startups doing blockchain stuff that will go bankrupt in a year. I joined a couple of those. My job, <laughs> Rust. My hobby, Rust. My ideology, Rust. My profile pic? Rust. <laughs> I'm pretty oxidized at this yeah. point. It's not a cult. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my identity, Rust. My profile pic. Re. <laughs> We're now actually rewriting politics uh, to Rust. I think. Rust is here to stay forever. No more JavaScript, TypeScript, CoffeeScript, MochaScript variations. Rust is the end. Actually, we don't use Rust, we use Gluon. Yeah, I'm actually currently writing a bio about my programming journey. Uh, it starts with... So let's see how we can rewrite your code to Rust. There are so many good jokes in there, I swear. This has to be his best video. This was incredible. Well done, Russ guy. The name is not...
This is this following statement's not supported by the Rust Foundation Rustogen. <laughs> 